Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Good. Hi, how Wilson. are you? Hey, Giancarlo. I don't know if you remember. I saw you the other day at the hotel. <laughs> yes. Uh, what 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 city were we in? We were in L.A. at the Four Seasons in the morning. When you're talking to Jordan. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, that was you. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, you were wearing a really snappy hat, I believe. <laughs> and uh, it's good to see you again. Yes. So we're here now. Now, as actors, whenever you shoot a project, it's never in sequence. So when you have a show that's totally not in sequence and different from the other, you know, is it confusing for you guys when you're reading the scripts, <laughs> Gene Carlo? Well, it wasn't confusing for me uh, because all these elements seem to be happening at once. Mm -hmm. However, I did want to put things in order, which is the human predicament. We want to order things. But what I loved was the idea that things were wrapped in color soaked in color of the moment that reflected the sense and feeling of each episode. Mm. So then I realized we're making mini movies and they're all connected somehow. It wasn't until I read all eight that I was really truly satisfied that there was a complete arc to every single character mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. I could embody this character uh, over a span, a course of 24 years that would allow this to be heightened and somewhat different than anything uh, that I've done before and than anything that anyone's seen before. So it was very uh, challenging, yet I was enthused to take this journey. How about yourself, Tati? When you take on this type of role, one, I always like to know, you know, is there anything within this character that you can relate with, whether it's on a page or on the side, you know, whether it's a scene or not? Um, I think that for me with Hannah, um, I could definitely relate to the father-daughter aspect of it. Um, or to her familial aspect of it. I could see how Hannah's relationship with her family informed her life and I, it's something that I have often dealt with through my life of, of trying to understand where parts of myself come from in terms of my family um, and trying to recognize those parts and give them, give them back to those family members and help all of us heal through that. Um, so that was a the, that was a very big connective piece for me for um, with Hannah, um, as well as just the the idea of when you have so much information, you have so many different roles that you have to play, or so many different expectations or responsibilities are being put on you. Um, how do you carry that with grace and ease, um, and to not let anyone ever know that? It's, it might be more than you could take on. Um, yeah, um, and that's something that just through going through my own life and as I'm growing up is something that I'm uh, learning a lot and it was, it, was, it was fun to be able to apply to Hannah. You know, you know, you've had, you know, it seems like you never, never stop working. <laughs> I mean, you, know, you always work from one series to the other. And so for, for this particular show, uh, you know, actors are always still learning. Is there anything you're learning from this particular project that, you know, that's different from what you've done previously? Yeah, uh, I, I, I love what you're, you say, and I'm blessed to always be in a sense of play. So I would say I never stop playing. Uh, I don't look at what I do as work. I look at it as, as growth and playing. And um, that four-letter word work is somehow... Um, negative to me and I, I'm, I'm able to be, have been afforded the opportunity to play and when I'm able to play every day uh, it deepens not only my craft but my spirit mm -hmm. uh, so I learned from this particular project uh, and I have in the last several projects I've done I give myself an exercise and the exercise is what am I going to do here how can I deepen my channel to be a channel for the writing. In this case, the writing was really good. Eric Garcia is phenomenal in how he fashioned the story from real, true life events uh, that were historical, that meant something to him. How do I display this uh, and deepen the channel uh, for me to exemplify who uh, Ray Vernon is uh, and uh, a broken man with a dream, uh, wants to be the best at what he could do, realized he had to get out of that life, switched his life for something else, eventually, does some time um, to be able to uh, requite all the things that he's done wrong out of a tragedy and a broken heart, gets back from that to try to recover himself and recover a relationship with a family member that he loves very dearly. What could I learn from this particular journey? Well, 
I link a lot of what we do as actors to healing our personalities. Uh, and so uh, I speak uh, a lot sometimes about the connection to my own life. I hear um, that Tatiana, Tati does it as well. And, 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 and so those are the things that we can really draw from that help us link the material to the lesson that may be all for us. So little do we know that our lives are designed for us if you look at it in the right way. And so this project was designed for me. It was designed for me to give up my ego. It was designed for me to give up the idea that I had to win every battle, confrontation, uh, conversation. It, it, it was designed, this project in itself, Kaleidoscope, for me to feel like I had to be smart, that I had to be anything but who I think I am. And so I learned so much from not only working with Tati, but working with directors who maybe saw it a little bit differently. But this project is essentially a part of my journey mm. to be accountable, to be reasonable with my child, to be understanding with a business partner, to be vengeful when, when I felt like I was something was done wrong to me, to be that man who had to eventually give up his freedom. To do the time it took to look at myself. You know, we put ourselves in our own heaven or hell. In this case, I put myself in heaven. This project has been an absolute blessing, not only for my life, but also for my career. Congrats to both of you. Let's hope we can get a season two out of this. And we'll talk down the road, wherever you guys are at. Stay safe. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much. Smart House from Black from the TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? What's Hi, up? How, how you doing? How are you? Well, this series was totally intriguing, knowing every episode is totally different from the other. Uh, you know, each of you have worked on different projects. What led you to say yes to taking on this series? And before everybody gets into it, can you briefly describe what your roles are? Because I think every episode is different. Yeah, Rosalie? I think, I mean, oh, oh, sorry, yeah, bump it to Rose. No, yeah, go for it. What, what are you, ah, um, hi. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I, um, I deeply fell in love with my character, Judy, was is the answer, really. Like, I thought um, it was a really exciting experiment to be a part of. Um, really, really exciting to meet Eric and the writers. Um, and I was so in awe of what they were attempting. I could already see the, like, the craft that had gone into writing the episodes from the beginning, because we got to see them all before we started filming. Um, but... Judy um, happens to be um, the chemistry and explosions expert on this heist crew. Um, and she's a very, very impressive, multifaceted, quite unpredictable woman. And it was really fun to get to play that. Jai. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're I, uh, I had a lot of fun playing Bob. He's obviously, he's a bit of a hustler. He, uh, he's a safe cracker. He's uh, pretty good at a few things and not great at a lot more. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a bit of a sort of challenging figure to be around. Serves to disrupt a lot and um, has some interesting ways of getting what he needs. But, but he's still a lot of fun and certainly was a lot of fun for me to spend time with. Um, and I think seeing what I had the potential to play with coming into this was... Um, you know, the bonus part of being part of something really exciting. It was obviously an ambitious project for Netflix to want to set out and do, and we had some, you know, brilliant minds kind of shepherding us through. Um, but I was just really excited to be part of something unique and, um, and to get to play a character like Bob woven into that who, frankly, for me is, you know, probably too much fun um, and a little too close to home. Uh, you know, I wish there was more. This is, you know, this is <laughs> being set up as an anthology. I don't know that we'll see too much more of these characters beyond this this season. But um, you know, I wish. They're fun to spend. Can time I hope and pray? Yeah. Piggy up, to piggyback on that, I was going to say, how do you relate to the characters you're playing? I like to think that any time an actor takes on a role, when they're reading their sides of the script, there's got to be something of themselves that works with the character. And having said that. Did you do a deep dive into the background of your character in terms of like, do you look to what makes an explosion expert or, you know, how does, how does safe cracking work? Yeah, I think we, I mean, I, I, across the board, probably everyone got pretty um, deep into, you know, their special set of skills, if you will. I did actually have some sessions learning how to crack a safe, which was really cool and quite interesting. Um, don't know that I'd be a reliable 
uh, addition to a real heist squad, but I um, like to think I can, you know, portray it on screen uh, convincingly. Um, and yeah, creating a backstory is essential. There's a lot of room in this to fill in the gaps as well. It's an incredibly detailed um, piece for all these characters, but, you know, it stretches such a, an expansive period of time that um, we all got to invent details that we don't see necessarily put on screen that inform, you know, who they are. Yeah, definitely. About you, Rosalie? Yeah, I I'd, I'd agree with all of that. I think um, because, of course, like we, there's a, like a seven year gap where we don't hang out with them in between the episodes. And also there's little bits of information that we get about maybe like say Judy's childhood, which are just a couple of like throwaway lines. But then that gave me space to go away and build something that in the end helped justify um, Judy's choices to me and also made me love and really understand her. Um, and I think also it, there's a lot of stuff that I don't think probably made it on screen per se, but definitely informed our performances and how we related to each other in terms of what we had decided between ourselves and made us really, it, it added a lot of depth um, to the relationship, which was really fun to play with. And then how was it working as an ensemble, you know, in terms of opposites, you know, we're now coming here, but you guys were announced a long time ago, you know, at what point did you guys get together to know each other before you started shooting production? It was a nightmare. I'm glad that you're finally asking about it. Um, no, it was great. I think we, we, um, about a month, three weeks yeah. out, something. I think we, uh, I can't remember if we got there and then it pushed a little bit or something. It was I kind of a, it, yeah. kind of a bit of a crazy time still in, in, in production and filming schedules. Um, but we had a good second to like get on the ground and, and get to know each other and get into some, some pretty heavy prep, which was a lot of fun. And, you know, it was one of those productions where you had the joy of really loving the company of all the yeah. folks that we got to spend all our time with. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I think we're really proud of each other's work. Wish we got to do it more. Hey, maybe hopefully we'll get a season two. Either way, it's a fun ride that people enjoy. Have yourselves a great day wherever you're at. Stay safe. Thanks you for too. Cheers, Thank you. Take care. <laughs>